So Ryan just went and picked up our new monster truck or mud truck. I don't know what you want to call this thing. I don't know what we're gonna call this, this thing. This, it's gonna, gonna be... this is this might be weirder than tiny. This is our first time seeing it. Sounds like a mud truck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? It's <laughs> even better in person. I introduced to you. The Mudstang. Oh, that's a great name. Holy dude. Yeah, dude, we need another green piece of shit in our life. Is it a mud truck? Yeah, so the so guy before the built it for a mud truck, and then it was white, and it was just kind of like ratty, and then the next guy who bought it turned it into a show truck to like promo his car shows and painted it lime green. Dude, this is a dude, nice paint job. A, this it is actually sick. is. And I actually don't know if it's got a Ford engine in it or a Chevy engine in it, because it's a Chevy underneath. Well, I'll tell you what, man, the people watching it right now will know because they're the smartest people in the world. And they will make you feel like an idiot for saying that. Just when you thought you couldn't get any more green pieces of shit in the driveway. Well, neither of our other green pieces of shit run. If you guys are new here, we'll give you a quick rundown. What oh, we, green what we mean by green pieces of shit. Right here, we've got a Lamborghini Fiablo. It's a fake Diablo on a uh, Chevy Fiero body. It's a Pontiac. Did I say Chevy Fiero? Yeah, it's a Pontiac. Fuck up there and no, I meant say Pon gonna... Pontiac Fiero. Pontiac Fiero. It's uh it actually doesn't look that oh, bad. Holy oh. oh yeah we left the windows down. <laughs> I knew that was a bad idea. That's not good. And then over here it started out as a uh, Chevy Aveo and then we got it replaced with the Chevy small block. What do we break the tranny? Oh, it seems like every time we turn the key something breaks on the side. This one starts but it doesn't move. And now we're on to this baby. Got a title and everything, so you could technically drive it as a daily. The goal with this one, though, I mean, we say this every time, but we actually don't want to break this one right away. We want to keep it nice because we never even got to do any mudding with Tiny because we'd break it so fast. What's the mud event? Vinny's? Vinny's. We want to bring this to it. So, I mean, if you guys are going, hopefully we'll be there. It's still running by then. So, this is like a mud truck. Mm -hmm. How much did we pay for this thing? Mm, 8500 bucks. Easy on the wiring, buddy. I can't tell if that's a good deal or not. Let's put it this way. If it was a normal 1965 Mustang, it would cost more. <laughs> this switch is like the power button. This one's for the fan, and then that one's for the lights. What is he? Oh, that's sick. What, what do, what's going on here? How do we get rid of all these wires? I mean, why does every vehicle we have have wires hanging down from the dashboard? These are the fine details that they don't tell you about in the Facebook Marketplace listings. So this is road legal. Yeah. Probably isn't important. Does it have part? How do I move? Can we get someone who's not an idiot in the front seat? Oh my god, the turning radius on this thing. You just ran the fing box, box, you open. idiot. The what? What box? You're fine, just go. What box? It's just extra parts. I I swear to god you're getting dumber every day. Hey, how about you hop in the driver's seat and then see how much you can't see? <laughs> Yeah. For how much? We'll keep that to ourselves. We're going to pick up chicks. See you later. Then switch up. Man, you are getting dumb. Yeah. Okay, switch up, and then that black switch up. There God, you go. Man, you guys are dicks today. How does it feel? I mean, it feels honestly pretty good. You could daily it instead of your vet. Yeah, I'd you probably get pulled over less. So if you register this as a classic, there's just no rules or what? Different types of laws don't apply, like window tint and tire size. And Actually? Yeah. So I think we can actually get away with this one. No way. We all start classics. driving classics. <laughs> Is this one of those things where you start to get a headache after driving it because the exhaust leak is into the car? Yeah, there's a pretty good exhaust leak up front. I'm to the floor right now. This feels like a comfortable speed for it though. I kind of feel like a badass driving this thing, man. I don't blame you. Like, this is pretty sick. You can see the highway through the floorboards up there. Oh, yeah. Where? A little ventilation. It has hurt. like a feel like it's kind of shimmying all over the place though. Oh, it's almost like it's not meant for the road. Yeah, I don't really know what it's meant for, but it just looked too green and shiny not to buy. We'll test the curb appeal here at the store. Man, I can't believe I just found out I'm getting dumber. Iowa. Iowa? They f their cousins and they built these things. Wow. Crazy. We're just making the rounds. I'm trying to pick up some chicks. I'll need to go to 
Zorba's over there. You know where Zorba's is? The chicks there? Man, Friday and Saturday night, dude, it's off the hook in there. Think they'd be in the guys with big Mustangs? Oh, yeah. Really? Man. Shit, I know where I'm going tonight. You want to come? No, nah, my girl's like, oh, dang, it's freaking cool. Damn, I thought we were gonna go tear absorbers with him, but he said he wants, he said his girl would kill him. <laughs> I mean, the curb appeal pass. Should we go pick up Mike? Let's go wake up Mike. Everyone always gave me so much shit for being an alcoholic, and here's Mike just blacked out till 6 a.m. Well, Ken, to be fair, we did turn your life around and save you. I mean, it just kept going straight, and everyone else just joined me. <laughs> So you brought us down. This is your fault that Micah is a turtle. Well, Micah's always been the turtle. I think he's graduated the sloth now. You can't be too hard on the guy. That's true. We're not CJ. Hey, I make sure everyone stays in line. At least I try to. I'm really failing on Mike, but I don't know what we'll do about him. We're on our way over to pick him up. This is like a pretty normal occurrence. He goes out. And then we have to like go and find him wherever he's sleeping. Luckily we have his location and wake him up. It is it's one o'clock. It's yeah, it's literally 101. But he's gonna be excited to see this, that's for sure. Can you see that? Yeah. We're moving We're in. Moving in. in. Hello. How's it going today? Dude, people love this more than like anything. Oh, this place got really developed. Oh, there he is. There's his car. <laughs> Imagine I just like f***ing sent this through the garage door. I'm like, where's mine? Yeah. Just walk in. Yeah. Back door. Breaking into Ken's the house. Ken's done this before. He's been here. We just got back from the lake. Did you guys go to bed? Or? No, barely, dude. Where's my friend? Mike? He's upstairs. Okay. I don't know about How do we get upstairs? Over here. What the? Oh, oh, I don't know. It's like we've never been. It's a water bed now. Morning. That's technically one o'clock. Yo, we got something to show you actually. Come outside. Don't oh, don't oh, look oh, outside. Water happened? Water and electronics should not mix. <laughs> Holy shit, Ken. I've never seen you move so fast. Right, what time did you go to bed? Four. Are you lying to me? Why would I lie to what? What time did you guys go to bed? Nine. Oh. We, we just went to bed. You're gonna like this, dude. Oh man, it's so sick. Jesus Christ, what the <laughs> f is this? <laughs> it's so dope. Jeez. Where do you even sit here? Step aside tiny, you know what I'm saying? Have this thing here. Yeah. yeah, dude. That's awesome. So obviously it drives pretty good. It drives. Okay. Do you see his shoes? They're Birkenstocks. Weird about Birkenstocks. Nothing, I, know. I said you look great. Well, that's not at all what you said, but man, Ryan, just wait till CJ starts teeing off on you. Yeah, dude, I'm just waiting for my turn today. I still, oh, are we I'm do still that one riding thing where we put the T in his butt crack and then CJ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I, that's let's what go do that. Right. You guys said a guys, clubs, For Ryan? the record, the person who I think does we do that. actually. Let's do that. Let's do it. I don't mind. Yeah. Like, bro, what that's... do you mean, dude? I'm if still CJ, riding. Ryan, you're hey, the last person. If CJ misses, bro, like his ass is. Black and blue for a long time. I got a great shot. Dude. Go trust Ben's shot more than CJ's. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ken, then why don't you put your I money where your mouth is and lay down with your ass up in the air? Come I'm, on, Ken. Just come on. I've already been roasted today. You haven't been teed off from. I'm good. Imagine that tea right good in between morning. your cheeks. 
You can pick your pick your poison, <laughs> man. Perfect. Thank you. Dude, I don't have, I don't have an ass for TV. We can blur it. Well, I don't want to do it. Would you trust me? No, I don't. Ken, I, I just how don't. about you do it? Nope. Come on. Why not? Come on. How about I do it off of your ass? Fine. I haven't golfed in a, in a while, so. <laughs> oh my god. CJ, I need it a lot higher than that. Bro, I got big cheeks. We need to get Ryan in here, I'm telling you. All right, hold on. Oh! <laughs> All right, keep it. All right, my sister's a professional golfer, so I kind of have it in my jeans. Oh! <laughs> I think I hit the top. Top like, it. Hammered it down. It actually wasn't that bad. It just startled me. <laughs> my crack might be bleeding right now, though. <laughs> All in good fun. Let's go. Discover the fun. Only a 65 Mustang can bring. That's my bag. Sorry, gotta kick it out. That's my bag. Try to mess with my money. Wanna try that. Pray to real little long, fake die fast. Then I slide past. That's right. You know, I didn't think it would be this soon that we were bringing it to Brian's, but I guess this is best case scenario. We were looking into the rules on this mud event, and apparently you need like a clevis, something to get pulled out of the mud with. And right now, the only thing this thing's got is a chain that would probably break immediately. So anyway, we're going to have Brian weld up basically a bracket to put on the back of the mud stank so we can put this clevis on there and then uh, have something to get towed out by. Wherever we're gonna put this bracket, what that bracket's attached to, the welds are gonna be just terrible on. Specifically, the front bumper is pretty bad. Ken, when, when did you, did you become, become such an expert? I don't know, I'm just saying, like, other people were saying the welds are pretty bad on it, so. Ooh. Other people. Who are Ooh. other people? Like, we're, we're looking at this thing yesterday and like, everyone's like, oh yeah, those welds are bad. They keep saying Who's other everybody? people. Okay, well, who is everyone? All of us. No, they never said they're bad. I have full faith in them. Okay, everyone's everyone's just changing their tune today. I guess. <laughs> Searching up again. Yeah, that's right. Now we have three things here. <laughs> I guess I never even said what was wrong with this. We came to the conclusion that I blew it up when we were mudding it the one day, and then water came in somewhere. I still don't know where the water came in. Blew up. No compression. Did this thing fall out of the truck? I may have to buy a new bar. Hold up. What happened? Jeez, Ryan. So Jeez, you broke Ryan. the tailgate. Hold up. Did you what did you tailgate? do to this thing, Ryan? It tipped, and then the bars went down. Tipped what? Sideways? backwards a little bit of sideways and then it rolled onto its top bro <laughs> it looks like a chopper <laughs> so, so you, not, just, you just weren't gonna mention that no i figured the tailgate was enough news for one day did i forgot you guys were gonna see it does the camera know what he did to the tailgate? i don't i don't think we even talked about the tailgate this is why you're done should we just go <laughs> show them does it still count as two mess ups if you do them at the exact same time or is it that and then just one colossal wait, wait wait explain how this happened then well i had tiny on the trailer and i was like okay i'll just back the trailer to the side so then I can get Ben's three-wheeler out and then so when I put this down it rested on the trailer which I didn't realize <laughs> so am, am I the one that's getting dumber or is it is it Ryan I think it's a collective job of everyone okay that makes sense just the group as a whole this is a group as a whole is getting dumber we're all coming down to Mike's level whoa, 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 Ken. <laughs> not even here you can't talk about him like that so not saying we're going to or we want to but how hard would it be to take the motor that we put in tiny and put it into this there's tons of room in this one yeah there's tiny. plenty of room do you want to do that or do you want to just put another motor in this one well I we're trying to determine what tiny's life is going to be from here on you should out. just sell it anyone out there want to buy it a lot of people dude actually, you'd actually be surprised yeah Perfect. Hi. Evan, you got the twisted t shirts on. I love that. It was time. Are a little big for you? Uh, mm -mm. All right, so basically we texted our buddy Colin with Up North Outdoors. Go check him out on YouTube. We'll link him down below. But uh, Colin's got Sherps, which is this behemoth on the trailer over here. It basically goes on land, it goes in water, and it can pretty much do whatever you want. So we were like, trees, we've done that too. Yeah, we've done a lot of stuff with it, but we always wanted to bring the shirt to the sandbar. So where we were last weekend or the so last video when we were like, partying. Like big party, except not rolling up on a boat on a shirt. Because people are like pretty much amazed when they see it. So we are like, oh, this would be, I think we'd get a lot of good reactions there. But also imagine the, so like the DNR or they have like some guy that like sits down next to the boat axis and like make sure your boat is like good to go and all this. Imagine like when we just roll up with, with this and we just go, <laughs> just bomb right into the water and be like, I'm pretty sure this is registered as a boat yeah, though. Yeah, no it is. It's registered as a boat, 
and uh, like a tractor or something. So it, it is legal, but they're just gonna be confused because I'd imagine they're actually I know for a fact there's never nobody's been a ever shirt pulled on this out. Pelican Lake. The only issue is it might be a haul. It might be a long haul across the lake from the axis to the sandbar. Dude, every time I look at one of these, they just keep getting weirder. Make this up, never makes any sense. So what do we they say when you pull up to the axis, like when the people are you right, know sitting talk. there? Writing down like the boats and all that shit. Wait, there's someone at Here's the, the thing. that does that? No, I, don't no, talk. I mean, just hit, hit the, the water, water as yeah. fast as you can. Over. Okay. <laughs> I've always wanted a Hummer H2 since like 2003 when they came out. That was like what I wanted as a kid. And I was like honestly looking at buying one just for like shits and giggles. And I was gonna drive it because they're badass. And then Mark buys an H1 Humvee. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna fucking buy that now. Just completely one-ups me. Look at this. Look at how far. Look at this. I can't, I'm not, I can't even touch Ben. Look at this. This is nuts. That's a fake rock, isn't it? Yeah. What? Yeah. I thought that was... That's a, a, per, a per, oh, that's, a, that's somebody's house. house. Yeah, it's crazy. So, it's like a grotto <laughs> underneath the pool. And, and a no, grotto. It's, no, it's grotto. ridiculous. Like Playboy Mansion grotto. Yeah, yeah grotto. Like, is there Evan, you'd have a great time there. Oh, I'll be friends with that guy. His son watches our channel. You wanna hang out? Let us know. Let her rip! This thing never ceases to amaze me. Howdy! Quite a rig. It's called a sherp. A what? A sherp. Sherp. Yeah. And it goes through anything? Yeah. It goes through anything, over anything. It's pretty crazy. Wow. All right, what's the furthest oh. you've driven her through water? A couple miles, a few miles probably. Okay, we're good then. This yeah. isn't too bad. It's, it's gonna take a minute to get over there though. It's gonna take a minute, but check. it'll be okay. All right, everybody hang on. Ken, dial in your life jacket, buddy. <laughs> Hurry up, Ken. Hurry up, Ken. Here we go, boys. It's gonna take us a while to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're in one of those uh, like tugboat things that they put on the river, you know, that has like the tra yeah the, the wheel in the back. I don't know what the name is, but I feel like that's I mean, probably similar speed. But so hopefully this thing is fuel efficient. We got a ways to go. They used to drive these things. I mean, they do drive these things all the way across Russia. You guys got a wave. Come on. Where's your lake etiquette? Hey, throw me a beer. Overboard. <laughs> What kind of throw was that? <laughs> We're all in like the fucking orange life jackets, which makes us look like noob. All right, here we go. There Let's we go. go, baby. This one's to Evan. What? Everyone's saying stuff from their boats, and we're just like, no idea what you said. Thanks. What's that? You like it? No. No, you're taking on water. Thanks. I know. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thank you. No, seriously. Stop. Okay, so we started there, but we gotta go. So far, you can't even see around the point. I'd say we're probably one twentieth of the way there. As long as everyone's having a good time, we can't lose. <laughs> What are you doing, bro? It fell dumber every day. It fell open! Uh, it doesn't just fall open, Ben. Well, when you lean on it, it does. They really are making them dumber than they used to. Yeah, I don't know if the software is getting old or something, but... It's time for an update. They need a reboot. It's slowing down. Alright, two hours later, we made it. They're excited or mad? <laughs> they seem enthusiastic. Yeah, they're good. All right, we turned up the water a little bit. We yeah, made an entrance. Now we're just sitting here. Everyone's staring at us. I didn't really think this one out. <laughs> you thought they'd have been Isn't that awkward silence that everybody stares at you now? Yeah, basically. Like you farted in an elevator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tim, that's exactly what the, this That's a perfect analogy. Everyone's got to be so confused. <laughs> I'm honestly a little confused oh. myself. I mean, we don't know what we're doing either. We're just trying to party, bro. Work and earn. For boy, go tell you what you learn, but then my faith is firm. This music team gon' give me bills to burn away, but I might never spread. Got too many ideas that need investigating. I need medicine for my brain. Oh, shit.
shit. No shit. Think so many, heavy? Dude, oh my god. Feel how heavy that is, bro. I don't really like panic, but that was heavy. Okay, so we just realized that there's a kind of like a residential landing right, right in between where we launched from and then the sandbar. So we're gonna just take that and then just run the road the rest of the way. Thanks guys. This is moving now, dude. <laughs> Compared to the water, yeah, it feels like we're just moving at the lightest speed speed of light. So we finally released our podcast. It's called Life Wide Open with Sea Boys TV. We created a new YouTube channel for it. We're gonna link it down below. Uh, we just dropped our very first podcast and we are giving away $500 to two people that head on over to the new channel. Subscribe, like, and comment on the latest video. We're gonna roll a little teaser for it. Thank you guys so much. That's kind of how we all came to be friends. And uh, Me and CJ are friends. Probably not any secret, but we do love to party. <laughs> we ran into Jake at a sand pit. To be completely honest with you, it really sucks, Dick. When you watch the YouTube videos, the, it, is, it is all real. When these guys showed up, dude, you better make Big sure Dick your girls are not around. Yeah. I'm like, this dude, this dude's me. gay. He's this gay. dude's hitting on me. Like, really had nowhere else to go or like anything else to do. We like, were up to no good constantly. And it, it literally Gas rattled cap, it bro. to pieces. He had no shoes on and literally spent all my money. Oh my God, dude. But I had suffered a really, really bad concussion. I was straight up at rock bottom. I remember thinking like, there's no way that I will continue to live my life this way. What do you, what, what do you mean by that? If I still was like feeling that way to this day, I definitely wouldn't be here. Going through Hell. Well, that was, yeah. That, that you was, had to get his name off the company. They wouldn't sign. So we had um, to keep paying cash. <laughs>